Okay, Waron Gaming here. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet and stick to a pretty good program in terms of time. So let's go ahead and load up the save file. Uh, so this plus mark right here pretty much means that this is a finished save file where I've beaten the game once. So we're gonna go ahead and load into this one. What's up? And we're actually gonna keep this the agenda today. A little light monster pummeling, perhaps. We're gonna actually keep this pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a bunch of new de detours and all that kind of stuff to get into. That's not what we're demoing right now, though. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some combat stuff. Uh, specifically, this video is gonna be on phrase. Well, not phrase tree. This is gonna be Silas tree. So here we're in Pronost, um, and this is another skill that we now have. It's a whole other discussion to get into, uh, and that's going to be part of like, you know, building invincibility levels, quote unquote. It's the long story. Uh, so we're not even going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and work on this tree. This is going to be Silas tree. So if we go on the D-pad here, it's going to be your fire magic right here. Another cool thing is on the uh, the touchpad for the PS5, this is only PS5, right? If you swipe to the left, it's going to be fire. Right is purple, so that's phrase magic. Uh, green is gonna be to the top, so then that's Ola's magic. Um, then you swipe down, and that's gonna be Prov's magic, which is water. So right now, though, we're just gonna focus on fire magic, so that's a left swipe on the D-pad. Moving into the next thing that I want to mention too. I realized from the last session, unfortunately, when I did phrase magic, I actually forgot to show y'all how to do, um, that would be tendril. Cause if I switch over to grass magic, yeah, the one that I had forgotten to demo was tendril. So let's go ahead and get that done now. And we'll also demo burrow, but burrow has no real importance. Okay. It's not a combat move. That's literally how Burrow works. You just press it and it activates some roots, shoot up, collects items. Cool, whatever. So let's go and get into a fight. Here we go. This is Tendril. Simple. And of course, a trick to get your abilities back really quickly is to just jump around and when in parkour mode, you shot or one of the other abilities. That's how you get an ability back fast. Then set them up, get in the middle of everyone, and then you use Tendril to knock them down. That's it. So I'm moving now into fire. All right. We'll start with Rage Slice. So Rage Slice is a really quick combat-oriented ability. The idea is you get out of range, hold it, blast, like that really simple yep. you have arc slice which arc slice is designed to dodge hit with slice right then you use an attack like that problem is as you saw an enemy can counter while doing that attack so just be aware of what happens when you use it oh okay they're done already so we'll go ahead and use burrow to pick up any scraps and we'll switch back to Arc Slice now. So, before we actually go fighting the enemies, let me just demo all of these attacks and then we'll show each one against an enemy type. One, this is Rage Slice. You can do side steps and other motions as well. When I'm doing the side steps, all I'm doing is moving the L stick, back step, and then as you're holding it, you're building up power and you just release to, to utilize the attack. Yeah. Um, arc Slice, oh. if I'm holding to the third level, it's it can be used as its base form, like that. Um, pretty much a sweeping arc attack. And if you want a straight line blast attack, that is the other version of Arc Slice. As you can see, that's the distance of attack approximately, right there. Now this one is Blast Slice. Blast Slice takes a while to charge up, keep that in mind. 
But the idea oh. is this is the first version, and then that is your base your base throw. And then if you jump, its aerial version is a slam. So those are the three main attack patterns. Then you have your support magic. You have charge. So of course it's kind of like a blasting forward attack, shields you during the initial strike. However, when you come out of it in the roll, you are vulnerable. Keep that in mind. You have bombardier. When she kicks something like that, it will turn into a bomb and explode. You have Aegis, which is a status boost attack. So pretty much what it does is it gives you um, it gives you raised attack ability, and in addition to that, it will remove status ailments. So it erases attack or defense reducing effects and increases your attack power. Fusillade, which gives you these swords that attack on command as you're pretty much fighting enemies. So whenever you charge your attacks, they attack to protect you. Um, then you have Beacon, which really Beacon just gives you super stamina buildup. So as you're literally burning through stamina, your recharge rate is sped up. You have Legion, which summons little guys to help. But these guys are kind of bad off and really dumb when it comes to attack. So don't expect them to do much. They have Crucible, which can be used in two different ways. You can use Crucible to attack enemies within the circle, or you can jump outside of the circle and then have enemies trapped inside of it and hit them. Also, notice that Frey does not like her own fire. She can't get burned by it. Like, she doesn't actually lose health, but she doesn't like her own fire. Just keep that in mind. And then finally, you have Fire Trap which is, of course, pretty much this resounding blast of flame, right, that comes out of the ground. And this can hurt Frey <gasps> if you walk into it, so just keep that in mind, too. Um, now let's go ahead, and first things first, I will heal. And now let's go ahead and find some enemies. I'm sure there have to be some somewhere that we can go beat up. Oh, and I guess I should pick up the mana trails. They're not really important, though. We have so much mana, and we're already we're already really done with her mana tree anyway. So, yeah. Um, let me see if I can find some enemies, though. Okay, those are birds. They're not really going to be too useful for what I want to do, because I want to show y'all some grade A combat. And flame magic can work on birds, but it's not optimal. Oh, looks like enemies. So this is awesome. All right, so let's demo Rage Slice. This is Rage Slice attack. You see how it kind of allows me to sidestep, move around. You can do a dash slice in there and then arc slice like that to be able to actually attack. What I'm doing with that dash slice is just tapping R2 while in parkour mode, which allows me to be able to do a very quick just dive in. That can be used as an attack as well, which is the air slam. Then this is kind of how a blast slice works, right? You take distance, stab in, jump back, with a hold with a held spear and it'll attack the opponent okay I've already earned all of their uh, I have too many of their clusters already oh we have some enemies up here let me actually see what they are first good something's there perfect they're not Could birds Could pretend we didn't notice get out of the way see you can actually use the attack animation of Blast Slice as a dodge. Oh. Then you can use the Jump sla Slash or the Dump Slice to be able to actually blast the enemies away. And when you're actually landing the Slash, you are invincible. Um, right after that, you are not. So keep that in mind. Right after the Slice ends, you are definitely vulnerable. But while you are landing it, you are invulnerable to enemy attack. Okay. Now let's go ahead and demo some of this other stuff. Um, oh. 
So that's charge right there. Okay. Close distance. That's using uh, fire trap. Bombardier. Okay. Aegis to increase my attack power. Crucible, as you can see, basically burns any enemies that try to get close to it. So that's one of the reasons why it's a really good move. It can protect you while in a, in a situation where you're being attacked. And it looks like, unfortunately, we actually killed all the enemies already. So we'll move on to another group. I'm sure there's got to be something out here. All right more enemies so I'll use Legion now as you can see again they don't really do much of anything Legion is again honestly okay. useless but we'll yep. use beacon and fusillade so that you can kind of get an idea of those and now let's take these guys out we're gonna dodge that poison attack All right, Fusillade took care of that enemy for us. We're gonna dodge that. And see, notice how I was invincible during the slam, like I said. Even though I was actually hit by the, um, the blast attack, that poison attack, I was protected from any damage that could have possibly happened there. We should see a few more enemies down here. So I'm not actually gonna do anything specific here. I'm just gonna set these enemies up. And this is Conflagration, which is her Surge Magic when in fire form. So same thing as how you would use Genesis, right? You want to get the enemies close, and you want to get them coming towards you, and then you pretty much just want to let her rip. And that's basically the way to use their uh, all of those attacks. Now let's go ahead and just like I did before, let's kind of get into combat theory. I don't know if there's going to be any enemies up here. Probably not, since I cleared this town out earlier. But this will give us a good chance to just kind of sit here and play with the attacks. So this is basic slice right here. All I'm doing is continually pressing R2, right? If I want to switch this to an attack, I just hold directly after doing an R2 combo. And I automatically come up with the level 3 version of the spell. If you watch the button in the bottom, you'll be able to see that. I'm literally in level 3, the second after finishing the combo. That is a quick way to transition to a power ability. Same thing if, if I do that stab, and then after that, level 3. Air Slice, level 3. Air Slice, level 3. If I want to do the same thing with uh, Blast Slice, Air Slice, level 3. So, you can also dash cancel out of an ability. If I'm here, then I'm slicing, dash, slicing, dash, slicing, dash. And every time, you can be entering the next level version of the attack. You just have to get the timing right. Now, I will admit it's a lot on the fingers, so, you know, just keep that in mind, but it works. So that's something you can think about. Also, after any support magic, you're automatically in level three if you go for the attack right after it. So Crucible, immediate level three, Arc Slice. Um, if I go through the flames, and then let's say I activate Aegis, immediate uh. level 3. If I activate Ooh. Fusillade, oh. immediate level 3. So those are ways for you to be able to combo really quickly on enemies and utilize the most powerful versions of an attack um, pretty much as fast as you possibly can. Also, when you first get the fire tree, you should have, by that point, phrase magic. So, good ways to utilize things. Use bind to tie up an enemy, and then immediately let fusillade or one of the other attacks smash that enemy that's bound. You can put down disperse, for example, but put down disperse in a crucible. So that way, you could actually erect a crucible, 
Uh, we still actually haven't let Crucible load up yet. But if we had Crucible loaded up, then you just direct Disperse with inside of it, and then that will do extra damage to the enemies as well. Same thing that you could do if you put the enemies inside of a Prime, and like put up the Crucible, then use Prime inside of it. Um, there's not really too much else to do except show maybe some combat, so let me see. We can go ahead and do one of the trials probably um, as, a, as just kind of a demonstration. And we'll add that into into our video here. So there's one that I like to do that is very good for fire magic. Uh, I'm just trying to find the right region. I've, I've been to so many of these regions at this point. Um, apologies if it takes a quick second. All right. Okay, that's the Fallen Temple. Technically we could do that one too, but uh, Let's see here. Fortress Overrun. Let's not do that one. Won't be fun enough. A signal to strike. Let's hold off on that. That's not really going to demo what I want either. Let's see if we can go to the Avalette region. So that's going to be in this area. And I believe the best one is this one right here. See a vital outpost? We're going to do that one. So let me go to this save location actually you know what? I'm not even thinking you can literally start it right there we can go straight to the outpost Think I'll go so, take a look. let's go ahead and do this one we're gonna do this entirely with fire magic nothing else I'm gonna use just fire all right so just see Here we go I with do. our enemies. We're going to use Blast Slice. Reason being, we can set them up, and then that can take out the enemy in question. We'll take this one out ourselves. And there we go. So that's all those enemies down immediately. Next set of enemies is going to come right here. We'll go ahead, erect a fire trap, so that they basically have to run directly into that fire trap or stop to get All past right. it. And there we go. Those enemies are done. Now I don't remember which side they come from next. I think it's over here is the next one. And notice we already have Fire Trap back again. That's the secret to being able to really put down damage. But we're not going to use Fire Trap this time. We'll use Fusillade. All right. We'll go ahead and charge Fusillade and see how I was able to go immediately into that level 3 version of the spell. Yep, and so they're already done. Now, we'll go ahead, stand back a little bit. This time we'll... We can equip two things. Um, so we'll use Legion to then allow us to go directly into a level 3. Then we'll charge it. Ooh, this one hit us, so that you know that happened, and that was because of the fact that Blast Sphere does have a certain wait time to it, right? So always keep that in mind in terms of your uh, your attack. It is what it is. It won't really do much to us. I'm not even going to worry about healing. So there should be some enemies coming in here now. Uh, I'm actually going to save on Crucible. We'll use Aegis. I'm just going to wait. Literally, I'm just waiting until they show up. So let's go ahead and activate Aegis now, because they should be showing up very soon. There we go. And we're just going to start Conflagration Level 3 from the beginning. There we go. And that's already done. Now this is gonna make this last one a little bit harder, but we'll deal with it as we need to. We're gonna basically use every single spell in the book to pretty much up our damage to maximum levels.
Now they're gonna come from this side this time. The second that I see the enemies pop up, I'm going to activate Aegis first. Actually, I'll go ahead and activate Aegis now. Now we're still using Blast Slice, but we'll probably use all three abilities. I'm just gonna figure out how I wanna kind of mix it all up. Should be showing up any second now. Yep, so we're gonna erect this. We're gonna start Fire Trap. Then we're just gonna start tossing. Gonna toss as much Blast Slice down as possible. We're trying to get rid of any and everything coming in as quickly as we possibly can. So we're going to get rid of the Kalanos next. Then all we have to do is get rid of whatever the remaining enemy is. Oh, I did not notice him. Let's go ahead and get rid of him as soon as we can. We should be able to get him yep. down if we activate everything. There we go. You're quite something when you put your mind to it. You're proud of me? And so with that last part, I used Arc Slice to be able to get him down as quickly as possible. And there we go. Uh, that's a five star win on that. And we'll go ahead and quit here. And so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And if anybody has any questions about the combat or further questions about different things I'm doing in terms of the button presses and stuff, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace.